Hi guys, this is my entry for the Do It Yourself Challenge for the biannual Bibliothon. All information about the biannual Bibliothon and the ladies who host will be down there. I will put a warning on this video, I am very comfortable with handling hot glue and even I burnt myself twice. So I wouldn't suggest this if you have never worked with hot glue before, I would, I would use clay something that is easier mouldable. Just because I've done it doesn't mean you should. I don't want anyone burning themselves on my account. This is just how I did it. The camera angle is strange and the lighting keeps changing, so sorry for that. I've never filmed that type of video before, but hopefully you can just get through it and watch my DIY. I hope you like it. Glue gun, glue sticks, chopsticks, Vaseline, acrylic paints, paintbrushes and a cup with rice, entertainment and beverage of choice. So I'm laying down the foundation of the handle with glue, obviously. I'm putting Vaseline on the ruler so it won't stick to the glue and indenting some wood-like texture. and then building more onto the handle of the wand. I have put Vaseline on my fingers so it doesn't stick to the hot glue and I'm using my fingers to mold the shape. More Vaseline on the ruler and more wood texture being put into the tip of the wand. Here I am using the end of a paintbrush to define the texture more on the pointed out knot that stands out on Harry Potter's wand. Here the top of the glue that I put on was not cool enough to be messing with so I hung it upside down and let it cool off a little bit more so I could mould it. And now I'm actually blending the tip onto the other glue that's there. It didn't look seamless enough so I added more glue and then I blended it even more. Taking the end of the paintbrush again, I dipped that in Vaseline and decided to use that to create texture on the tip of the wand just by indenting it and making it look all gnarled and stuff like tree bark. I think I'm about finished with it, so I put it in the cup of rice to let it stand and completely cool down before I start painting. I painted it white off camera just so it had a base for the colours to go on to. Here I am just painting it with a mixture of browns and getting it to match the picture as closely as possible.
I stood the bottom up and let that dry and now I'm working on the tip which is more of an outside wood so I'm just making that as dark as possible Now I'm just adding darker shadows and blending them out with a dry brush so it looks more natural. I'm just dry brushing the tip now just to bring out more of the texture that was lost with just painting it a flat black. And here's what it looks like all painted. I had so much fun with this DIY and I really liked the end result. And here it is in its beautiful glory. I am really proud of it. It does look like Harry Potter's wand. Uh, I lost some texture up here but all in all I'm really happy with it. If you like this video give it a thumb. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you want to. As always, the t-shirt I'm wearing today is this one. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> My tea. Tea, 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 tea. If you like this video, give it a thumb. My thumb didn't work. Got hair on my nose. It is trying to attack my face. Ugh. Dick Spelliamus.